So now that we know what OpenCL is, how do we use it? Well, the easiest way I found is to just download one of the SDKs from the main vendors, AMD, NVIDIA, or Intel. I don't think it actually matters which one you choose, because I've got an AMD graphics card and an Intel CPU. They both support OpenCL. And I downloaded the AMD SDK, and I'm able to run OpenCL fine on both these devices. So once installed, they'll have um, a directory for the includes, which contains the header files, and a lib directory containing the uh, library files that you just need to include in your um, IDE project. And I'll be using Visual Studio on Win on Windows, and but I'm sure it's a similar process for whatever operating system or IDE you're using. So. This is where I downloaded it. I just Googled AMD SDK OpenCL, got to this uh, page, and then clicked uh, this hyperlink here, which downloads the SDK for Windows for both the 32 and 64 bit platforms. Then, after, I, after you do that, just open up your IDE. In my case, Visual Studio. Let's create a new project. Um, just call this one test. Next, I want it to be a console application. I don't care about pre compiled headers or SDL checks. Make it an empty project. Just because I don't care about all the other garbage it gives me. I just want one file. And I will just call this the same as the project name, just to make it easy for me. And so there's a few things you need to do. You need to add the include directory. Uh, Windows 32 bit. I don't care for this. I make 64 bit. Yeah. Yeah. Just because who cares about 32 bit these days anyway? It's been phased out. I don't care about it. So go to the directory where the SDK installed. In my case, it's here. And I just want to add this include directory. OK that, go to the link, and so it needs a dependency on the open cl.lib, and that is located in the same place, oh, it doesn't remember the last place I was at, never mind, Let's find it again, lib. And that's 32 bit, this 64 bit. I'm building 64 bit, so I want this one. Okay, should be all you need to do. So hopefully, it should be able to find CL, yeah. Now, so this header file is if you want to just use the standard OpenCL C API, but in my case, I want to use the C API. So I'll do that, create a simple main function, and I'll just call something OpenCLE. I think that should be okay. It's not giving me any warnings. Build that. Um, so we get a few build warnings, but it was successful. That's good. I think these build warnings are because I'm using the latest SDK which has OpenCL 2 support and it's probably deprecated all these other things and it's just giving me warnings about them but there is a way to turn those off but I can't remember the macro okay I found it you just need to define this before you include this header file and it should get rid of all the warnings cool